Welcome to everyone. This is Fallbrook Houston News. After four months, yeah, it gives me goosebumps. Tamara Thompson could finally celebrate <laughs> seeing something that hasn't been seen for so much longer. Three different tests, so for sure it is a 3,000 year old canoe. This morning, Thompson helped the Wisconsin Historical Society dive team delicately raise an ancient canoe from the waters of Lake Mendota. It's kind of the consistency of wet cardboard. Thompson spotted the relic while scuba diving off the southwestern shores in May. Texted my boss. I'm like, you're not going to believe this. This is not a joke. Um, I found another dugout canoe. Last fall, she helped recover a different 1200 year old canoe in the same lake. This summer, the Historical Society sent a sample from this canoe. Radiocarbon dating places it from approximately 1126 BC, predating the Trojan War. It's an era that's difficult for Marlon White Eagle to grasp. He's able today to touch something made by his Ho-Chunk tribe's distant ancestors. Shows that we had a society with uh, transportation, trade, commerce that was was a part of our, the, you know, the fabric of our society back then. The excavation process started on Monday, 30 feet deep out in Lake Mendota. And now this 3,000 year old canoe heads next to the State Archive Preservation Facility where it could take up to three years to complete preservation. Historical Society Director Christian Overland admits this discovery, which is currently in several pieces, presents more questions than answers. So the new pathway and portal to the past to understand. But he says in conjunction with the Ho-Chunk tribe, there will be much to learn, much to celebrate in the years to come. That's part of the story that we're going to bring up out of the water and the investigation starts, the storytelling starts. History moves forward in a new way. This is Fallbrook Houston News. Thank you for watching Fallbrook Houston News. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate that.